to the Strong Mom channel. Today we are doing a full body prenatal workout using the dumbbells. We're getting our strength, our inner strength on. So what I want you to do is grab a set of dumbbells. It can be one pound, two pound, three pounds. I'm gonna stick with my fives. This workout is good for uh, any moms in pregnancy, first, second, third trimester, and even fourth trimester. That's immediate postpartum. So let's get our weights and get our warm up on. All right, let's just warm up here. Squeeze in that back, back of our shoulders. And let's change those arms. Reverse those arms. And remember, for this workout, go at your own pace. And let's squat as we come up. We're going to tap back with one leg. Just warming up our full body here. All right, let's pick up those weights and get to the strength workout exercise. All right, we're going to get into a wide squat here. Let's go for five bicep curls. Two. The last one. Squats. If you can, deep squats are good to prepare. Our pelvic floor, good to prepare for the uncomfortableness of childbirth and labor. Let's go two more times here. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Come on up last time. Three. Two. Last one. And up. Nice. All right, we're gonna bring our arms out. Pull back. Push forward. I always like to come into a split stand. We're working our upper back, our shoulders. Exhale as you push out. Last four. Two. The last one. All right, bring those weights into your chest. Hold them here. We're gonna do some balancing. Take this time to get your heart rate down a bit. And remember, when you're exercising in pregnancy, you should always be able to hold a conversation with somebody. We never want to get to a point where we're like, oh, I can't talk because I don't have enough oxygen, right? You want to always make sure you and baby have enough oxygen and you're going to test that by talking. I don't care if nobody's in the room. Talk to me. I'm on the screen. Tell me how your day is. Last three. Two. And one. Good. All right, we're gonna do some walking lunges. I'm gonna start in my corner here. You can hold the weights down at your side. Whoop, not so low. <laughs> that back knee is gonna come about one or two inches off the floor. Of course, if you have a longer bigger area at home, you don't have to keep backing up like I am. I just don't have enough space. And of course, if you wanted, you could just be doing your lunges on the spot as well. I'm gonna switch legs and do three more here. Last one, push through that heel. Nice work. Woo, kick it out. All right, we're gonna get into some Split stance deadlifts. I want you to line up one toe with the other heel. You're gonna hinge far. Think about getting those hip bones back. Bring your uh, arms down, nice proud chest. Pull up, we're gonna do for five upright rows. Three, two, one. 
Let's go down and up for five. Two, last one. Come on down. Upright row. Switch legs. Line up that toe with your other heel. Hinge forward. Come up for five. Three, two, Last one here, and down, five, four, two, and one. Nice job, heart. Right. We're gonna get into a semi squat. Come on your arms here, we're gonna punch out one at a time. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, putting too much pressure on your back, then I wanna get you in a split stance, okay? It's gonna help protect your back. If it's still too much with the weight way out in front of your body, I get it. Just do little mini punches, right? We've already got a big belly. Maybe you're in your third trimester. We've got a big belly and you are ready to have your baby. It's, good. it's a lot of pressure pulling you down forward. Same thing with these weights. So just keep it small. And last three, two, and one. Nice work. We're gonna come on down to the floor. Now, if you can, we're gonna get into push-ups. If you can. Now, if you're in your third trimester, you're not gonna like this. It's not gonna be comfortable, and that's okay. So I want you to come down on your back. We're still gonna work our chest, but we're gonna do chest press. So, if you want, if you're a first trimester, you feel comfortable doing push-ups, go ahead. You can also do push-ups off the wall, as I've shown in many of my other videos. Or, if this is comfortable for you, come on down to the ground. All right, keep going. Keep going here. I'm gonna do a modified push-up with you ladies. Let's go four more reps in whatever exercise you're doing. Three, two, and one. Good, I want you to stay on the ground. We're gonna work our glutes and we're gonna do a crunch press at the same time. All right, we're gonna do a glute bridge up. Now, if you are saying, you know what? I have heard I shouldn't be on my back. You know, in pregnancy, it affects the way that I breathe. It's, you know, pushing down on my organs. We are not spending a lot of time here. So if you can comfortably breathe, if you are okay and you feel good in this position, do it. You don't have to be worried or afraid. But remember, we're not spending a whole lot of time on our backs. The other thing is while you guys are still doing your glute bridges, a nice way to get baby into proper uh, posture rotation to uh, deliver is by doing glute bridges, right? Getting baby, if the baby is breached or posteriorly turned, uh, what do you call it, sunny side up? This is one way that you can help out with that. Come on down. Ooh, roll over to your side. Slowly come on up. Grab a drink. All right. We're going to go to the top with our low squats and our bicep curls. I hope you guys are feeling good. All right, we're going through this workout three times. So we are one third of the way there. Get your arms ready. Squat, we're gonna go for five, four, Keep that chest proud. Try not to lean forward, we don't want this. And if being low in a squat does not feel comfortable for you, don't do it. If you can only go quarter of the way, that is fine. Last one here for five. Two, one, come on up. Can you hold a conversation with me? Tell me about your day. 
today. All right, I'm getting into a split stance here. Bring those arms out, pull back. Keep those arms at 90 degrees. Let's go for eight, and then we're gonna switch legs. Last one, arms down, switch legs. Remember, if you can't punch out all the way because it's too much pressure on your back, just punch it out a little bit. Chest press, so 
or push up. And for this one, I'm gonna do it against the wall so you guys can see, okay? If you haven't caught in any of my other videos. So, up to you. You wanna do push ups on the ground or with me on the wall? Let's do it. And stay away. The further my toes are from the wall, the harder it's gonna be because we have more distance. So, bring your chest into that wall. Exhale as you push away. Let's go 12. Last four. And last one. Nice work. All right. Down on the ground if you're not there already. We're going to come on to our backs for our glute bridges. Glute bridge with crunch press. Hold those weights together. Weights come up. Glutes come up. Squeeze those glutes.
Last two. Kick it out. You guys are doing awesome. All right, we are almost there. Deadlift with our row. Heel matched up to toe. Come on up, let's go for a five. Hinge forward. Last time on the side. And switch legs. Reset. Let's go for a three head here. Last one. Five rows. Nice work. Kick it up. All right. Gonna get into that semi squat and punch out. And again, if you need to, split stance and small punches, that's up to you. Let's go five more on each side. Four, three, two, one. All right, down on the ground or on the wall, chest press or push up. I'm gonna do push ups on the ground this time. On my toes, I don't expect you guys to do it on your toes. On your knees is great. And even if it's like this, you're still gonna be working your chest, okay? Let's go. Thank you.